You know, even I choke sometimes. I apologize. The last video I did on the Rosat, the satellite that's streaking through the sky, I could not get the screen to enlarge. I could not get it. So when I watched the video after I posted it, I seen that it was just a black screen and you guys couldn't see it. It's, it's too bad because it is fascinating. But on my radio show, we are going to talk about it. And Reverend Gary of Kentucky uh, should call in a little bit after 2 p.m. But I'm on, uh, I'm on every day from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's going to be a powerful show today on what, where? www.LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com That's LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com Monday through Friday, I'm on every day from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want you to be listening. Now, I've got those some powerful information coming to me from Stephen of Oklahoma. As the, as the Black October, as you guys do know, there was two significant things happened. On, God showed me a dream of a black horse galloping through a crowd of people, and then a calendar. It said October. I could not see the year, and a black Monday was on it. Okay? Well, on Monday, October 3rd of this year, 2011, in Dallas, Texas, a chemical plant erupted an explosion with black smoke rolling. Unbelievable amounts of black smoke rolling way into the sky. Five city blocks. That same day, the stock market fell 258 points. The S&P hit a 52-week low. And the uh, European Union's futures hit a 15-month low. The next Monday was October 10th. Not a lot that day. Actually, the market was up. Okay? But the, this past Monday, October 17, 2011, we had something else take place. There was a dust storm over Lubbock, Texas, which I've done a video on. It's incredible, where it literally turns the sky dark and black in the middle of a sunny day. That same day, the stock market fell 247 points, and the Italian banks were downgraded, and, eco and the economy continues to fall and fall. Folks, why was there a black cloud in Dallas, Texas, and a dust storm in Lubbock, Texas, the same t the, on the 3rd and the 17th of Mondays of October, and both days the market fell 258 and 247. Is it part of the dream I've seen? Is there a series of Black Mondays coming? I don't know. I, I just don't know. But I want you to focus on what's going on in Revelation chapter 6. Matter of fact, let me grab that scripture because I was going to have that ready. And be, as, before I read these two or three verses in Revelation chapter 6 about the third horseman, the black horseman, let me read to you what Stephen of Oklahoma just sent me. This is from uh, an, Before It Is News. Dot com. Okay, here's the article. It says that if you have any doubt that the Bank of America is going down, this development should settle it. Here's the article. This was written on Wednesday, October 19th, 2011. We've received numerous emails from readers regarding this most recent development with Bank of America, and we're seeing the report from the Washington blog spreading like wildfire across the alternative media like the Daily Crux and the Intel Hub. Why? Because this is big news, folks. Really big news. One of the oldest banking institutions in America is now on the brink of total insolvency. The only way to, uh, for them to be saved at this point is to take billions of U.S. dollars and losses and force those losses to be covered by the United States taxpayer or innocent account holders. And if you're on any of account at all, you might be time for you to reconsider your allegiance because in the near future, you may be dealing with the FDIC instead of BOFA customer service representatives or Bank of America are you serious? Bank of America is oldest, one of the oldest banks. It's huge amount of assets, and they're on the brink of collapsing. America is in trouble. 
We're over $14.4 trillion in debt. China basically owns us. And we're in a situation where the dollar continues to fall, where our property values continue to fall and have lost about 25% of the overall value of America. Your 401ks have, have absolutely languished. And while that's been going on, you have record foreclosures the last two years, unemployment over almost 10%, the real unemployment over 20 And I heard the president say last summer that that was this, the summer of recovery. Well, this summer, we've all begun to realize it's the summer of discovery. We've discovered that America is broke. We've discovered that the bailout plan of the banks in late 2008 and early 2009 between both President George W. Bush and Barack Obama have done nothing to help Main Street, have done nothing to help the economy of the common people. But it has padded the pockets of the investment bankers. The reason the Occupy Wall Street started was probably over this very issue, but it has emerged into a mishmash of confusion from every left-wing liberal agenda stepping up and trying to lock arms. It's insane. I would highly recommend you stay away from it. Don't get in the snare of it. Don't be caught up in it. But continue to walk as part of the body of Christ in the oil and the wine. Now, I had this dream of a crowd of people and a black horse was galloping through them. I now believe that crowd of people on this crowded street was the Wall Street occupying. And the black horse is galloping through. It was not stopping in New York, or America for that matter, but has already been in London with the riots, Athens, Greece this week with the riots, and it's starting to spread around the globe as the economy is headed toward a collapse, a worldwide collapse, which would force a one world government, or a new world order, or call it the beast in the Bible, and a one world currency, the only way to recorrect it all, or call that the mark of the beast. I'm going to tell you what it says in Revelation chapter 6. The Bible says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Are we living in that day? And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Are you serious? Are we talking econ economic collapse? Are we talking a collapsing of Bank of America? Are we talking of a, of a currency, the dollar, worthless? And somebody asked me, should we buy into the Iraqi dinar? There's a push right now for people to throw thousands of dollars if you want to investing in the Iraqi dinar. Let me explain this to you right now. I'm not an economist, but I can tell you this is a do not throw your money at the Iraqi dinar hoping that there would be a 10 time return on it. In other words, some people are going out spending $10,000 on dinars hoping within 24 months they'll be worth 100,000. Are you serious? That's an that's crazy. It's not going to happen. Here's what you need to do. Read the rest of the scripture. So this black horse comes galloping and it has a pair of balances in its hand, okay? And I heard a voice in the midst of the fourth beast say, a measure of wheat for a penny, three measures of barley for a penny. See thou hurt not the oil and the wine. The oil and the wine is the anointed in grace. Oil representing the anointing, wine representing the grace of God. See, it hurt not the oil and the wine. See that it hurts not the anointed in grace. Well, who are the anointed in grace? Those that have been washed in the blood. Them that are our children of God. Them that have been saved through the grace of Jesus Christ. Accept them as their Savior. Now, to be protected from the black horse and the pair of balances and, and not be hurt during this time, you need to be tithing. You need to be tithing in the laws of God, Malachi 3. You need to be tithing into your local home churches or your favorite ministries. You need to do it. Stay in the oil and the wine. Stay under the blessing of Jesus. Do not come under the curse of the black horse. Do not fall into the trickery and the scams of man. You give your life to Jesus Christ and be saved. I'll be right back.